little bit of a change of scenery here, huh? How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the episode of Fish Night TX. We are in St. Petersburg, Florida right now, a long way from Austin, Texas. It is spring break, and we are out here doing some fishing. As you can tell right now, the conditions are freaking rough, man. It is high 50s, freezing cold, a little bit of rain. Not much going on. I've been kind of walking in and out of the surf, throwing some shrimp and nothing much. Just a few little small pinfish. We actually have a pinfish out on that rod right there right now. A little bit of cut pinfish. Hoping to find something, but we got big plans. I mean, this is just the really beginning of things here right now. We're kind of just hanging out. What I've done is I've gone ahead and ordered a fishing kayak for the next three days that we're going to be taking back into the bay and hopefully getting on some really nice fish of it. We're looking for snook, redfish, trout, all those kind of things. And I think I have a pretty good idea of where and how I'm going to target them. I think the main thing that's going to really hit is the lights. You know, we catch a lot of bass, white bass back home on lights. There's tons of dock lights here as well. I think we're going to catch a lot of really nice fish on those, but they'll have to wait till tonight to do that. We'll also be doing a bunch of bass fishing. There are so many good bass fishing ponds and lakes around here. I can't just not do it being a bass fisherman at heart. So we'll be doing that plenty. You know, I, I know how to saltwater fish, but not like I do bass fishing. So we'll be doing a bunch of bass fishing as well. Nothing much is planned. We just got a lot of things up in the air. This trip could hit really, really well. We could catch some really nice fish as well as it might not have anything crazy happen at all. I'm not sure at this point, but for now we got some cut bait sitting out there. We'll see what happens. All right, we got ourselves some cut pinfish now. Really, we were not gonna get anything other than little tiny pinfish with the shrimp. So this right here at least gives us a chance to get a little better game fish. I'm kind of hoping a small shark or something will pick this up. All right, I mean, it's been almost an hour. This pinfish has been out here. No bites as far as you know I'm aware of. It's starting to rain again, it's still freezing cold and I've got a kayak to go pick up here in the next two hours. And I gotta get a lot of crap prepared and together for that. So I think we're gonna kind of ditch the beach mission for a second here and then we're gonna get ready for some really, really epic fishing coming later today. I just got done stopping at Walmart to buy some bungee cords. Look what I have beside me here. Guys, we are freaking set. 13 foot fishing kayak, very nice kayak. Probably one of the nicer kayaks I'm ever gonna have the chance to fish out of. We're set, man. Like we are completely rocking and rolling, ready to go out into the bay. We have three days to go bay fishing here. And I'm really excited in general, but I'm especially excited for the nighttime fishing, the light fishing that is to come. But that is not going on right now. We're actually, is the middle of the day. I don't feel like going out just to the bay right now. It's gonna be a little crazy and crowded. It's also not the best condition. So we're doing what I do best. And that is going and doing some bass fishing. There are so many bass fishing ponds around here. We're in Florida, man, this place. This place, it grows them different. I mean, it really is ridiculous how big some of the fish around here are. So we're gonna go looking for some ponds. I think I've already found some that look really, really good. And we're gonna try and get on some big old Florida largemouth. We'll fish for largemouth for about three hours and then we'll come back, get a little bit of food and set out into the bay. But for now, it's largemouth fishing. Let's go get them. Oh my goodness. Look at these ponds right here. Got this one right in front of me. We got another great looking one back behind. This is actually my second location. First place I went to, A, didn't look that great, but B, had a bunch of no fishing signs everywhere. This is back in a little private neighborhood that they left the gate open. So yeah. look who's in here. I mean, I don't see any no fishing signs. I really don't see why people would have a problem with it, but I don't know. Sure as hell hope I don't get kicked out though because this looks really, really good. Start off a little chatter bait. This pond fish is as good as it looks. Don't think this should take long. How's it going? No fishing at all? There's no signs anywhere. I don't really look to see if there's signs. There's no signs. Uh huh. The fish in the bay. Oh man, dude. All right, all right, it, it's all good. Is there? Okay, yeah, I just didn't see it. Normally, the ponds, like I, I went by some earlier, they have no fishing signs around the pond, so I just assume if I don't see them. All right, it's all good. It's kind of sinks. I literally got here like a minute ago, but it's fine. You have a good one. I'm pretty pissed off right now, as you can probably imagine. I left that place, looked for no fishing signs. There was nothing that said no fishing anywhere. So that's more or less just older people not wanting me hanging out in their neighborhood, which I mean, I get it, man, I understand. But 
It's just frustrating because I'm not doing anything wrong. And I'm literally releasing all the fish I'm catching, but found some more ponds. Had to drive for a minute. Because again, with some more ponds that I was getting kicked out of because I had no fishing signs, and I really don't want to get kicked out of again. This stinks. Been driving for damn near an hour, and I've taken two casts. All right, so I wasn't feeling the other pond. I had a really good idea because there's a big old lake right out over here. We just pulled up. It's gonna be really hard to launch my kayak, I won't lie. It's a pretty steep little area, but there's a little ramp right there. It's a little overgrown, a little sketchy, especially considering on the other side over here, I just saw about a four foot gator chilling. So we need to be careful, but if we can get out here, whew, looks really good. So we're gonna go over there real fast. We're gonna see if we can get this thing launched. All right, kayak's down here, we're going in. Alrighty, just got myself a little bit of dinner right here. Just finished up eating. It has really not been a great day, I won't lie guys. I drove around and searched for ponds for about three and a half hours and just nothing, man. <laughs> Kept finding ponds that either A, or private or B, it got kicked out of, or C, just weren't that good. I found a lake and actually went and tested the kayak out. I only went out for 30 minutes in it. And I mean, it was, it looked really good, honestly. I just didn't have any time to fish it. So I really don't even know if I should have done that, but at least we do know the kayak is good and seaworthy. So we'll be good to go once we get out here, but the sun is going down. It'll be officially down in about 30 minutes. It'll be fully dark here in about 45 minutes. It's go time, folks. It is time to do some light fishing and bear with me because I don't know how good the product's gonna be overall. I'm gonna do the best I can to get a good amount of light and get some good camera angles, but we'll see. Really all that matters tonight for me personally, at least, is just getting on some fish. We're looking for snook, redfish, speckled trout. Anything else in there will be gladly appreciated, but those are the three species we are after, especially a snook. Never caught one before, never even fished in waters that have them. So hopefully tonight will be the night. With that, I'm gonna get the kayak down to the ramp that I'm launching it at. We're gonna get out into the bay and have ourselves hopefully one hell of a night. At long at last, we have finally made it out to the light, so you can tell it's a little darker currently than I wanted it to be. <sighs> this day's really been unbelievable, dude. It's really honestly sucked, but got to that other ramp. I got all my stuff down there. I was getting ready to put the kayak in the water and launch, and a dude came over and got pissed at me and said it's private property. Can't be launching here, they're liable. I mean, I understand, but at the same time, it's like, dude, I'm just launching a kayak to go and fish, man. Oh, God. So I'm pissed, really pissed. I missed that sundown window, but we're out here. We're here. The lights are on. It's time to catch some fish and stop being pissed. This is the moment we have been waiting for. Let me starting off this little swim bait. Let's go get some fish, man. All right, nothing on light number one. I definitely think it might take a minute to find them. Not every light, obviously, is going to have fish on them. There's a dock back behind me here that has a bird looking over it, so I'm going to go check that out. Normally birds do not hang out where there's not fish. So far I haven't even seen a dock light that has bait fish on it yet. If that bird's hanging out there, then more likely there's at least bait fish. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Holy cow. I put the rod down for two seconds. We got a fish. What do we got? What do we got? It is a tiny little snapper. <laughs> About the smallest mangrove snapper you will ever see, but it is a snapper. There you have it. First, like, you know, actual species we're after. Not the right size, though. There's a fish. Another little snapper, I think. Indeed it is. Another little snapper. There we go. <sighs> this rod is just way too heavy for these fish. I think it's went a little different this time. What do we get here? Oh, it's a little baby trout. Right species, wrong size again. All right, little speckled trout here. Onto a new light now. I'm not seeing them up top like I was hoping to, like those snook and more aggressive, bigger game fish. But 
right now. I think it's gonna be throwing little shrimp bits. Won't lie, it's been a complete cluster F <laughs> to this point. Just trying to get all my stuff organized and I had to retie a few times and it's just been, it's been hectic as all hell. But things are seeming to calm down a little bit. Here, here we go. There's a fish. That's better fish too. Yes, sir. This is a big fish, bigger fish. Give him a little bit of line here. I don't know what I got, but it's a good fish. Yes, sir. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, is it really a catfish? Gosh darn it, it's a freaking catfish. Big old gaff top. See him there. Dang it. Fought well. <laughs> it's not what we're after at all. Little gaff top. Golly, that was a lot for one little fish. There's a fish. There we are. Another little snapper. Seems like tiny snapper are about what it consists of. These little lights back through here, just on the bottom. I think we ought to put the shrimp up for a minute and try to go find some lights where we can get some bigger game fish. Here he is. All right, I've officially made the decision that I'm done using shrimp for the night. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm a bass fisherman. Artificial is what I use. I hate throwing bait, dude. It's just, it's not fun, A, but B, it just stinks like hell, dude. I mean, it's just so gross. I'm done. I've caught my fair share of little teeny dinky snappers and a dinky trout and a stupid catfish. Like, I'm looking for snook, redfish, and bigger trout. And I'm gonna use artificials to catch them. For now, we just gotta try and find them. There we go. There's one on the swim bait. Oh, and he's off. No, it was a tiny trout. This is good, man, this is good. Starting to see some action now. I'm really just hoping there are some bigger trout there and or just some bigger ones show up in the process. Cause I mean, I'm getting bit every cast. So it's like, I'm, I'm sitting on somewhere, somewhere good. I'm throwing the right thing. Just need a little bit bigger fish, just a little bit. There we go. First trout on the little swim bait here. Tiny speckled trout, but it's a little bigger. We're actually on an artificial bite now too, which is good. So let this guy be the start of great things to come. See you later, friend. There we go. Nice. Another trout. There we are. It's a little more solid trout. Heck yeah, dude. Not a big trout, but definitely a lot more solid than the last ones I've been catching. That was first cast over here too, so that gives me hope for the rest of these lights. There we are. A little probably 14, 15 inch speckler. Hell yeah. See you, buddy. All right, how's it going guys? It is the next day. Not totally sure if this is going to be all one video of last night's portion or if this is gonna be a new one. If it's a new one, great, welcome. It is day two here in St. Petersburg. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon right now. We're getting ready to launch the kayak out again and I'm feeling pretty good. We're gonna go through here and fish these docks looking for about anything we can get to bite, but there's some big bridges out here that I'm very interested to go try and fish because I actually pulled up to one looking to launch and I saw some sheep's head along with other fish sitting there so i think we'll be able to get on some fish along those bridges and then we're gonna go out kind of into the main bay fish out there for a little while then obviously once it gets dark we'll fish the dock lights again like we did last night last night man we caught a ton of fish so so many fish a lot of speckled trout but 
they were really small. <laughs> I think we caught one keeper size trout. That was about it. I mean, it was it was rough. So I'm definitely looking for some bigger fish, preferably a snook if we can find them. But the whole key is just finding them. Like I said right there. I mean, there's a. I know they're around here. I'm just not an expert, obviously, on fishing for them. So the whole key is just going to be finding them, and hopefully we can find some on these dock lights here tonight, or just while we're fishing out in the bay. But with that, we're gonna get our kayak in the water, get my stuff set up, and head out there, and hopefully get on some more fish. All right, as you can see off in the distance here. This is the bridge that I was talking about. I actually pulled up to the parking lot over there to see if I could launch the kayak, and it was just too far down in the water, so I was like, I cannot do it there. But when I walked over to the side, I saw a bunch of sheep's heads sitting right by this first piling over here, so I still got some shrimp with me. I think we can go catch one. I have never caught a sheep's head before. I've never targeted them, but I've also never caught one, so that'd be pretty dope if we can go get on a few sheep's head off the pilings. I mean, I think there'll be plenty of fish to catch over here, so we should be in for a little bit of a treat. All right, pulling back out the rancid ass shrimp. I hate this stuff, it's so disgusting. Like it's gotta be rotting at this point, which if that's the case, I don't know if we're gonna catch anything on it, but it's like shrimp does not normally smell this bad. There we go. That might be one, let that be one. Ah, uh, it's a snapper. <laughs> it's a little better snapper at least though. Not a sheep's head, but it is a snapper. Not the fish I'm targeting, but it's always cool to catch a little mangrove snapper. We caught some of these guys last night, but now you get a good look at them in the daylight. See you, bud. There we go. Oh my God, it's a lizard fish. <laughs> Holy cow. That's dope. It's a little lizard fish. I'm trying to think if I've caught one of these dudes before or not. Mean, aggressive, little lizard fish. Yeah, these dudes got gnarly, gnarly chompers on them, so I need to be careful here. Try to help out here. There he goes. See you later, bud. All right, sun's gonna be down in about an hour. Um, we got a lot of bites over in the bridge, just most fish we did not hook up with on the shrimp and the swim bait. We're throwing around a little top water on these docks and see if we can make something crazy happen. Probably not gonna have the camera on for it just because I need to save some battery, but obviously if we hook up, I'll turn it right back on. The fish just blew it up and did not get it. It's my first blow up though, man. Sun's going down, fish are coming out. I don't know if that was a little snook or trout or redfish or whatever, but something blew it up, man. Just didn't get the hooks. Got him. There we go. Oh, it's a trout, okay. Nice trout, man. Nice trout. Nice trout. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. On the spoon. All right. So unfortunately, the actual blow up will not be on camera just due to the fact that I didn't have the main one on. But there we are. Solid speckled trout. Solid one, man. This, this is what we're after right here. Hell yeah, coming on the spook right at sundown. We just got blown up a few casts earlier. Buddy came back and got it again. Let's go, dude. This is actually about probably an 18 incher, 16, 18 incher. This is what we're looking for right here. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, we got one picture of him. I was just trying to get some good angles of him, but there we go. Yes, on the spook. Hell yeah, that was epic. Let's get another one, man. some fish on here. I mean, I, I think they're again just micro trout. All right, we're gonna get some fish in this light here. We're about to get them. Dude, there's a shark.
There's a shark right there. It's a little bonnet head. Oh my God, there's a lot of fish, okay. There's a ton of bait on this one too, I mean. These lights are gonna be full of fish here before long. There's just so much bait. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Yep, little trout. I didn't realize where he was, so I got him right next to the freaking boat and <laughs> hit him on my rod tip. <laughs> Popped him off, unfortunately, when I did that. I mean, these bait fish are just going bonkers, dude. Like, there's got to be some bigger predatory fish around there. I mean, they're going crazy. So I got a fish on it, put my rod down. That's a bigger fish. Running right at me. <sighs> There we go. Is it a trout? It is. <laughs> trout when I put the rod tip down, dude. I literally put the rod down to try and readjust the kayak. And as I did that, my rod tip just started spazzing out. <laughs> Say, buddy, you hooked yourself that time. That's on you, buddy. Yep, okay. He was bleeding. I was just trying to get him off. He was just hooked around the tongue. There we go, though. That is trout number three. You obviously can't see it on the camera here, but it's so interesting to me. All these bait fish and these lights just get up to them and they're just swimming in just big circles. Just going in circle after circle after circle. And there's nothing even chasing them right now. They're just going in circles. I've never seen that kind of behavior before. It's very interesting to me. We're hooked up with a good fish currently off the bottom. Good fish. Holy cow. Pull and drag, dude. I was just hopping in along the bottom. Holy cow. Holy cow. We got a good fish on. This is not a trout. This is not a trout. Not a, tr not a trout. I don't know what I got, but it's good size fish. Dude, it's a catfish. No freaking shot. Mother effer on a swim bait. Dude, I thought I had like a snook or something. He fought hard as hell. Ugh. Second night in a row, I've been duped by catfish. I mean, dude is dude's fighting really well. That was a fun fight. Jesus, bro. <sighs> Guess I don't really care that the camera's off. There he is. Dead gummit. Uh, I finally thought I had a good fish there, like a snook or something. I thought I had my first snook for sure. All right, he's gone. Uh, it's so annoying, dude. Wash that hand off good. Don't want none of that poison getting in a cut. Is that a ladyfish? Oh my god. <laughs> micro ladyfish this time. Set up a micro speckled trout. We got a micro ladyfish. Micro ladyfish. This is the extreme example of a poor man's tarpon. <laughs> See you, bud. Again. There we go, another one. This is not a small fish, dude. <laughs> oh my God. 